Vix lesson with Mr. M. Uh, in my last uh, video, I, I talked a little bit about the concept of energy and the conservation of energy and um, mechanical energy. And so in this lesson, I want to show you how to apply those concepts to a math problem that you may need to solve for in this unit. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the problem itself. Um, here we have a 2 kilogram ball that's resting on top of a 20 meter hill. If the ball rolls down the entire hill, how fast will it be going? Um, and you can see I've got my picture here. It's a good idea to draw a picture for these types of problems. Okay. And our, our concept here is that our total mechanical energy um, that we begin with has to equal our total final energy that we finish with. And our, um, the two equations that we use for our mechanical energy, well, the equation itself, is our kinetic energy plus our potential energy. Okay, And so whatever our mechanical energy is when we begin has to be what we finish with. And our two equations in this equation is our kinetic energy which is one half the object's mass times its velocity squared and then our potential energy which is the object's mass times gravity times the height. Okay. So in terms of those equations and the information that we have in the problem uh, we know our object's mass which is two kilograms. We know that initially it's resting, meaning it's not moving at all, and the hill has a height of 20 meters. And we want to be able to solve for how fast will it be going once it gets down the hill. So in other words, what's our velocity going to be uh, once it goes down the hill? So to begin with, we know that it's resting. Uh, we want to be able to know its total mechanical energy here at the top and recall that our mechanical energy is our kinetic plus our potential. So at the very top, our kinetic energy, since we're not moving, is going to be zero joules. And we can know this because well, our, in our equation, we're being multiplied by the velocity. And so if our velocity is zero, the whole thing is going to end up equaling zero. Now our potential energy at the top, this we can solve for because it's our object's mass times gravity times height. And we know that the ball's mass is two kilograms. We know that gravity is always 9.8 uh, meters per second squared. And we know that the um, hill's height has uh, a height of 20 meters. So we can solve for this tw uh, two times 9.8 times 20 gives us 392 joules to begin with. All right. So our total mechanical energy, if we add these guys up, 0 plus 392 is going to be 392 joules. So once this ball gets to the bottom, once it gets all the way to the bottom of the hill, we want to know how fast it's going. Well, the total energy that we start with has to equal the total energy that we finish with. So when we solve for this at the bottom, we solve for its kinetic energy and its potential energy, we, have, we know that both of these guys together have to add up to our 392. Okay. So, <clears throat> once we're at the complete bottom of the hill, our height is equal to zero, right? We're not high anymore. Okay. So if we plug that into this equation, um, two times 9.8 times zero, well, anything times zero ends up being zero. So zero plus what gives us 392? Well, that's easy, 392. So all of our potential energy has now transformed into the kinetic energy. All right. So that's half of the problem right there. Now what we want to do is we want to solve for how fast. Well, keep in mind, our kinetic energy equation here 
we can solve for how fast because of our velocity squared in the problem. So if our KE is equal to 392, let's go ahead and plug that in. 392 is equal to 1 half the object's mass, which is 2.0 kilograms, times the velocity squared. All right. So let's break this down. 392 is equal to 1 half times 2, which gives me 1.0 V squared. Let's get V all by itself. So we divide by 1. Anything divided by 1 is itself. So 392 is equal to V squared. To get V by itself, we have to square root both sides. That's an important um, process in this problem. And once we do that, our velocity comes out to be 19.8 meters per second. Okay. So hopefully this helps you in solving your own conservation and momentum problem. Thanks for tuning in.